Okay, while Janie is chatting with you guys on FaceTime, I'm going to create a walk-through, walk-around video for you to see. They have five showings today. They've received an offer. So this shouldn't last long. I'd recommend offering uh, soon. All right, so if you like it. Nice finished garage with a drain. Hot water tank and utilities underneath the stairs. Upstairs, we've got a one bed, one bath with a kitchen. Oh, they've done, looking around, they've done everything right here. I think it would just take getting a little creative with the space for everyone. Definitely room for bunk beds there, maybe with the queen size below and then twin above. And adding on to a structure, maybe this structure for some office space might be the way to go if needed. There are underground sprinklers. There's an alarm system, CenturyLink internet here right now. I speed tested it before the video call. It's 20 down and one and a half up. So why don't I go outside first? The door off of the kitchen. Hot tub, fireplace, matching the location of a fireplace inside. I love these huge rocks. I know that's not a big priority. There's mom, but look at that. Pretty sweet. They have a wakeboarding boat, a Mastercraft 22 foot off next to the dock right now. So that's comforting. Nice big yard so you can see the kids Swimming, if you're in the yard, not on the water. Fire pit. And even a, showing a couple of jet skis. The view is awesome. Let me take it off the, the other frame. It's a nice gradual beach, which would be easy for swimming for the kiddos. So, good to see a Mastercraft at the end of the season um, at the dock. Mastercraft X-22. And maybe just a shot with the regular lens here.
Looks like it'd be even fairly forgiving on your feet with the sandy, muddy area in certain spots right there. I think resale at this property would be a lot easier than across the highway, depending on what you do. Okay, in the main door here, sitting area. Nice coat closet, the storage above. Laundry with these sliding doors, dual. pantry. You can see the nice steps coming in. All right, now let's slow it down here. Under stair storage, crawl space access, more cabinets, the main floor bedroom with the view. These are all the way to the ceiling, by the way. Bathroom. Nice sitting area for the kids or older folks if they need to later down the road. Those two doors there closed to give that bedroom privacy. Nice sturdy railing. I like how they designed the chandelier or picked one out that wouldn't block the windows upstairs. All right, so turning right, for, turning left first. There's the router with the 19 and a half down, one and a half up. You could close that off if you wanted to actually seal it off for a bedroom for more privacy. Bathroom, shower. Utilities upstairs here. Very well organized. Here are these doors that shut. So here. Okay, television. Okay.
And just to be thorough, let's walk up the driveway. So for adding on, you could throw in an office instead of a bedroom, right? Adding on to an existing structure would be easier than, well, you could apply for a conditional use permit for a second guest home, but then they're gonna wanna know what you're gonna do for septic. So you'd have to have somebody out here for septic, but. adding on somehow I think would be easier. This space right here looks to be where the the two drain lines are for the septic at the garage, the space above the garage. This lot's narrow or narrower rectangle. There you go, head towards town. I'll have to see if that's the, on this lot. I know the lot goes up here just a little bit. There's also access to the neighbor's lot through yours with that little driveway. So I'll have to see what that's about, but there you have it. A little small, but very nice. And I like the long dock to allow the boat.